Hi. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of artwork. Now I want you to I'll be right back. Basically, what it is is uh, this style of work is coming from the pop art during the 60s and 70s, which is Randy Andy Warhol. He started a uh, well, let's go back. Every generation, or so many generations throughout art history, develop different styles. You have the uh, medieval artwork, you have the Renaissance artwork, artwork. You have, every generation has the style. As it became more modern, you have, during the 60s, you have these young artists from America. They started to break away from traditional art. And so you would have them do natural stuff, which would be any, anything in the kitchen, anything you know, that was, was out there. And so the designers would reflect that. Then. And so with Randy Warhol, he, was a, he loved Campbell's soup. So he would do Campbell's soup and, drink, and he, he would eat it with his, uh, with his grandmother, with his mom actually. He ate it with his mom and they would have Campbell's soup. So, what's interesting, let's see, let's see, let's get closer, can you see it? So, when he uh, started painting, screen printing uh, Campbell soup cans, it was uh, something new that nobody had done before. And generally in the art world, anybody that does something different is really known for that. And he was known for this. He, as a living, he was a commercial artist. So he was very open to different styles, different ideas. And so he started doing this. Later on, he just became known. He was famous for this, and he did many other things. He was a filmmaker. He also started a magazine, art magazine, for the interview, and also different types. So he was really a very one of the few artists that really got into different media ideas in terms of uh, development. So this is what it was he did. So I always have liked him. He's one of my favorite artists. So I wanted to do something also with Cam. And I thought, let's do something. So, in the past, I've had students work on doing can art. And that is what we're gonna to do today. We're gonna to do can art. And I'll show you. So, it's very simple. And uh, what, you, what you can do is, later on, once you do can art, you can frame it and put it in your kitchen. So you can have something that is, and it can be anything. It can be tomatoes, a soup of tomatoes, or a soup of peas, pea soup or just a kind of vegetables. So it's, it can be anything. Today we're going to do different styles. We're going to be different media in terms of the felt pen, oil pastel, and also a little bit of um, pa uh, poster paint. And we did a little, we're going to do a little bit of experimentation with that. So the first one we're going to do, I'm going to do this. So this is something new. I haven't done it before, so we're going to try it out. I'll put my hand in the paint. So we'll let, the, let that dry up and we'll do something else. Okay, continuing on, we're going to start doing the second one. We're letting the other one dry, the colorful one, and we're going to start doing This will be in felt pen. Uh, my name is Ruben Aguilera Sanchez. I'm an artist and muralist. I've been doing this for a long, long time. So uh, before well, many of you have been born. So as an artist, I like to do drawing. And I think we, as artists, you say, well, when can you consider yourself an artist? I say any time that you draw, any, any person that draws, I consider an artist. It can be anybody. And an artist is your mom, your dad, your cousin, you, anybody. You've seen elephants, they draw on YouTube. You've seen cats, dogs, they do even lions. They're an artist. 
What does, what does it take? It doesn't take much. Okay. So, the history of our art, as artists, we don't want to do... As artists, I'm sorry, I just stopped. We just went. Uh, okay, now with this, maybe part of the job, maybe you should we'll just cut it out. Okay, you can cut it out. Mm -hmm. Okay. I see you sound as an artist. Okay. And then also the question what is art? Art is a reflection of ourselves. And it can be any time, any way, or any how. We forget that the clothes we wear every morning when we get up was designed by somebody. The shoes were designed by somebody. The house that you live in was designed by somebody. The car that you drive around with your family was designed by somebody. So the art world is all around us continually. When we go see a movie, somebody designed them. So it's just it's continually, you look around, the signs, when you get a can of Pepsi, somebody designed that fancy logo, uh, Pepsi logo, or Coke, the lettering. Or if you get a can of, uh, or if you get a can of vegetables, somebody designed that. Even the way it was shaped. When you go and buy anything, somebody designed the shape of that. The stereo, the new types of TV, all that was designed by somebody. So you begin to realize everything around us was designed by somebody. So what is art? Art was what is one we live in now. Art is around us continually, always will be. As long as somebody is around, I think living, as human beings as we are, the art will always be around us. The prehistoric people, what they did, they would take art, they would take paint and put their hands on it, and they were to draw the animals that were in there at that time. The, so they reflected their times also. So you would see the prehistoric animals, lions, horses. That's, the only, that's, the, that's like a record. It was recorded as history. And so we saw that. So we know what's, what was living at that time. How long ago? We're looking at 20, 30, 35, even maybe 40,000 years ago. So that's a long time. But now we know because of the art. Okay, let's go back to the camp. So this time we're going to do a little can for his can of soup, and he's going to And then we'll make his shoulder and his arm. And then we'll do the other part. We'll have his hand. And he'll be holding a spoon. We're going to make the spoon a little large to emphasize that he's drinking soup. And then he's holding a, a big bowl behind him. And this will be soup. Balance. 
And if you don't want it all on one side, if it's all on one side, it'll start going this way. The weight of the artwork was go to one side. So you want balance. Always want to have balance. So we have some celery. Let's see what else. What else is in soup? Anybody? Oh, carrots. Yeah, thank you. Carrots. Okay. What else? Onions. Onions. Let's make a big onion here. behind the, the vegetables, let's make a mountain scene. We are so lucky to live in the valley. We have mountains on that side and mountains on this side, and we have the beautiful San Joaquin Valley. It is so beautiful. And in San Joaquin Valley, we have all of these vegetables, all of these fruits. We have all, everything, grapes. We have pomegranates, and it's seasonal. Every year is a seasonal. We have onions, we have cherries in May, summertime, nectarines, peaches, Plums in the winter, in the fall, we have pomegranates, puyu persimmons, Asian persimmons, achia persimmons, kiwi. Oh my God, we are so lucky to live here. And then on the on the bay, on the coast, we have the vegetables, the onions, the cabbages. We have all that. Oh, it's so beautiful. So it's beautiful. We live in a very rich state of California. It's beautiful. And then this, I like to put the sun all the time. And then also the moon. The stars. Okay, let's put the background a little bit on the can so you see it's like a can. And then I'll put, I'll put the lemon soup here. And what's the next letter? Oh, zero, zero, zero. What is it? What is it? Oh. What's the last, next letter? A U. Okay. Next one? P. E. Okay. A little bit to the side. Let's see, oh, I'm gonna put some air on this guy. I'm gonna put that. Now uh, he's happy. But he's having some nice soup. Excellent. Okay, great. I like that. Okay, let's go ahead and color it in. Go ahead and take a break. Okay, let's go ahead and start coloring this. Now, I like to start with yellow for some reason. It just it brings out the highlight, especially with these highlighters. So, uh, let me see. So, this is the sun, so let's go ahead and do the sun. We'll have the yellow around the sun. Oh, yeah. I love when it comes out in the morning, just a break of dawn. Oh, man, it's such a beautiful. See the sun? You know, it's going to be a beautiful day. And a little bit of the mountains, you know that, the yeah, coloring. Oh yeah. Beautiful, beautiful one of the coming. On the onions. On the hat. On the face. Oh my god. Oh, the sun is powerful today. On the shirt. Oh my god. A little bit on the hands. Alright, let's do another one. 
tomatoes, peas, carrots. the night so it's a little dark but not like black but we just want to make it a little darker maybe that dark blue we can use it later on to do the edges As an artist, you'll make mistakes, and and I say don't worry about it, because as an artist, you learn from your mistakes all the time. It's always it's always happening. So never make never be sad if you make a mistake, because you'll learn from it. I think the more mistakes you make, the more you learn from them. Never feel bad if you make a mistake. You learn a lot from your mistakes. Yes. Oh, 
das ist so schade. Ja. Let's do some strong outline. All right. Sometimes we can add some darker color. How is it yours? How is it yours turn out? Hmm? All right. Now, before we do, just get that sign. Don't forget to sign your name. Eight, seven, eight, 
Sanchez. What year is this? 2020. All right. Thank you. Now we'll do the next one. This next one will be oil pastel. So I used, decided to use a brown paper instead of white paper. So we're going to make another fan. I'll make a half circle here. Again, it'll be a soup, but this time we'll have a, it'll be a tomato soup. So we're going to have a, a worker do the hat. Okay. And then he'll be pouring tomatoes into, let's see. Okay. Let's make it into a lot of tomatoes, a lot of tomatoes, a lot of tomatoes. Okay. Okay. Let me go ahead and put the letter in. And now it's time to put a peel behind them. In the mountains, representing the San Joaquin Valley. Okay, and I'll put the sun. Let's make it bigger the sun this time. And the moon. different this time. Let's go ahead and extend the, the, the you can make it go this way. And then put a shovel for the can. Alright, okay. Let's go ahead and put the tomatoes. Let's go ahead. Again, I like to start with yellow. Orange seems to be very 
can do a lot with orange. I like to break up color. You don't want it all solid. You like to break it up a little bit. When you break it up, it looks more interesting than just solid color. So it's good to put some more color other than just a solid red or solid this, put some pink, some uh, orange if you can, so it breaks it up more. A lot of tomatoes took to make that, that uh, soup can. Tomato soup. Have you ever seen the machinery when they do canneries? Oh my god, the, the machines, they do a lot of tomatoes. And what is tomatoes used for? Tomatoes used for, they make uh, tomato soup, tomato juice, they make a paste to use in pizzas. Chop up tomatoes, make it into a salad. There's so many uses for tomatoes. Talk about balance. Okay, now I have both sides. Okay. I like blue for the shirt. I always like blue. Because of the uh, nature of the paper and so on, it doesn't really come out smooth looking, but it's still effective, so it'd be good. All right, so let's put some blue in the sky.
Mm-hmm. The dark brown, mm-hmm. dark brown, dark brown, the shadow. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, oh, there it is. That's the dark brown. All right. So, because of the nature of the medium, so it's a little more rougher. But at the same time, the texture is a little stronger and so on, but at the same time, it adds, quite, it adds something to it when it's like this. It's different. Almost has a more organic feel to it. So this is different, so the oil pastels are totally different. So you get that, so it feels different, it feels different. And the effects are different, so you get a different effect to it. And it's, it's pretty nice because every, every, every medium type of paint, or oil pastel, acrylic, oil painting, all have their own ways of being, and so that's what you, you enjoy that. And you look for that. And the more you work on it, the more interesting it will be for you, and you'll learn from it. Like I said before, never be fearful of making mistakes, because you learn from your mistakes. That's one of the great things about art, that all artists, we all learn from our mistakes. Even Picasso learned from his mistakes. He wouldn't tell you, but he did. Let's make it like the line a little more thicker. Okay, now this one is totally experimental. This was an idea I thought about, and I said, well, well let's give it a try. And then you say, well, what is this hand ribbon? Well, and I said, well, maybe it'd be interesting to do some chickens. But I said, I don't want to just do a chicken. Let's do something a little more abstract, a little more colorful. So I don't know if it'll work. I just said it was an idea. So we'll give it a try. Let's go ahead and do it in reverse. Soup will be on top this time. 
chicken soup. So let's give it a try. Let's see. There's that circle. Now we'll go down. Now uh, maybe. So, here we go. Let's give it a try. Kind of looks like a chicken. All right. And I'll try this one here again. You can do that. <laughs> As artists, you can do anything you want. Why? Because you're the artist. So when they say, you can't do that, you say, I can do anything I want. I am the artist. I am creating. One more. Okay, you tried it out. <laughs> oh, signature. Let's put it inside the can this time. Twenty twenty. All right, great. I enjoy doing this too. So you can tell, you can do anything you want in terms of art. It's a can soup. It's pop art. In honor of Randy Warhol, but I really love the idea because, as I said, the can soup, what it is, is a form of communication. When we see a blank can, we don't know what it is, but once we see the label on it, we know what it is. And anything with that, that's, a, that's communication. So art is a form of communication. We express ourselves to everyone else. Remember, always it's from the heart and from the soul. And the more you do it that way, the more happier you are. And don't let nobody tell you, oh, it has to be this way or it has to be that way. No, you do it your way. 
and that will make it unique because there's hundreds of artists, but there's only one of you. Remember that. Thank you and good night.